All right, guys. So welcome to a little impromptu training here. Uh, like I mentioned just a second ago, uh, we're going to go ahead and share this information with you. And again, when we are talking about making sure that we do have access to the financial inventory, financial inventory is going to be one key point I have to helping you find annuities and how to navigate through the process in order to find what we need to do, how to get through the information, and what getting through the information actually looks like, okay? This can be a very, very simplified process. This could also be a very complex process depending on how and how we position the conversation and the direction about how we direct the client in the direction we want them to go as well, okay? So very important steps here is gonna be your financial inventory, guys. And one little bonus thing, when we are talking again about tracking your business, here's a really good way to do it. I've got other videos and recordings on how to navigate through this tracker, but the most important key part here is going to be to click on file, click on make a copy once you have this link and make sure that you click on copy so you have a designated format of this on your Google Drive, okay guys? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dive directly into this on here okay all right so guys when we are talking about this okay all right looks like i've got to <clears throat> delete some of this information okay so guys when we are talking about this financial inventory it's very important to go ahead and run through it here okay okay all right, so as you're running through the financial inventory, it's pretty standard here. Uh, can you guys see the shared screen here? No, Jesse, it's not up. Got it. Sorry about that, I thought it was up. Okay, so we're gonna try this one more time. All right, okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so financial inventory is pretty standard, pretty specific, okay? So what we're going to do, obviously, you're going to find out key points of this client, okay? You're obviously going to find out their name, if they've got a spouse, age, okay, very standard information, occupation, okay? We're going to dig, dig into medical conditions. We're going to also dig into anything that with their living situation, with their mortgage and their rent. <clears throat> Key points to finding these annuities, guys, is going to be right here. Do you have life insurance, yes or no, okay? The most important part of this entire process is going to be this section right here. In order to find advanced market, annuity sales, and the questions to ask in order to find them, and close them. And guys, like I'm literally going to shotgun this as fast as possible. I'm going to give you some connecting lines, some word tracks, some phrases in order to find them and what to do once you find them. Okay. So key questions here. Are you more a, of a spender or a saver? Now, the reason I like to ask this question, guys, because if they like to spend, this equals that we need to put a bill in front of them, okay? And this is essentially if we're positioning life insurance, okay? Now, if they're a saver, this typically is gonna mean that they have saved money. Whether we're talking in their bank or whether we're talking into some sort of retirement plan, okay? Now, the golden question. So you'll probably hear this again. If you are ever watching the AMS call, you'll hear people call this the silver lining question. Okay. And then they call this the golden question. Okay. Do you have anything else in place that acts like life insurance, such as a 401k, an IRA, a stock, bond, mutual fund? 
pension plan, CDs, or significant savings. One of two things that client's gonna say is yes or no, okay? Now let's say they say yes. What we're gonna ask, is this from a current or a past employer? Okay, a current or a past employer. <clears throat> These are very, very important things to know, okay? Because I'm gonna break this down for you here. So if it's from a current employer, all right? The only thing that we can do with this, if it's from a current employer, is if they're 59 and a half or greater. Okay, guys, make sure you write this down and hopefully you guys are taking notes. Current employer of 59 and a half or greater from a current employer, okay? From a current employer, 59 and a half, okay? Now, if we're talking here about a past employer, okay? Okay, it can be any age. Age doesn't matter at this point because they no longer work there. So that means if they no longer work there, we can do what they call as a rollover. Who likes rollovers? Most of you guys are going, I don't know what that means, but I see a lot of people putting up big numbers. And big numbers usually mean one thing, big paychecks. Guys, and this is the crazy part about this is we could overcomplicate this very, very fast. But a lot of the times it's really, really simple. doesn't matter what financial inventory you use. I wanted to go ahead and share mine with you guys because I was coming across this where they always talked about the silver question. They always talked about the golden question but none of them actually said it. So I said, I'm gonna just go ahead and redesign it and design it exactly how I like to do my financial inventory, okay? So why I'm talking about current and past employer, okay? This is very important. Any appointment that you're ever sitting on, okay? Even though they do tell you, yes, I got a 401k. Yes, I got mutual funds. Yes, I have CDs. As we're running through this, okay, so I'm gonna demo this just like we were gonna do this, okay? Um, since I see uh, Odie here, Odie. Yes, sir. I'm gonna have you be my guinea pig here for a minute, okay? Sounds good, so, bro. We got your name, we got your age, we got your occupation, okay? Smoker, non-smoker, we went through your medical conditions, we went through your mortgage, your rent. Okay, now Odie, do you currently have life insurance? Um, I don't. Okay. So no insurance. Okay. Now, if anything were to happen to you, God forbid, who would be your primary beneficiary for this insurance plan we're looking for? My daughter. Your daughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's her age? She's 17. She's 17. Okay, great. So she's almost about to be a, an adult. That's good. And then you would get her birth date. Okay. You get her name. Okay. Now, Odie, are you more of a spender or a saver? I'm a saver. Okay. Now, Odie, do you currently have anything in place that acts like life insurance, like a 401k, IRA, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, pension plans, CD, significant savings? Um, I have a uh, 401k and I also have some savings. Okay. All right. And when I talk about significant savings, is it more than 10,000 or is it less than? Uh, more than that. Okay. Okay. And with your 401k, is that from a current or a past employer? Uh, that was my previous job. Perfect. Okay. And is it still sitting in the same place? Yes. Okay. Okay. And Odie, what would you say your average uh, monthly income looks like? Um, let's say uh, 15000 Okay, great. And do you currently have a will? No. Okay, great. All right. Now, 
Odie, God forbid if anything were to happen to you here, as we're looking and talking about all this life insurance here, would you prefer a cremation or a funeral? Funeral. Okay. Con banda, you know, with live music. Who with the band? Yeah. Banda, I got you. Okay, cool. All right, guys. And this is the important part here. So you're there for the lead because of the insurance, okay? The fact that you just came across this 401k, this might be bonus for you, okay? This might be a bonus for you. But be in there, do their term insurance, do their final expense, okay? Or their mortgage protection, okay? Take care of all of that, whatever you happen to do. So let's just say Odie, because of his age, he buys a CBO 100, okay? And he gets a, a children's whole life because his daughter is now 17. Last time she can get it. Mm -hmm. So he gets the 30 bucks for the 50K. And then he ends up spending, let's say, 200 bucks a month on himself and whatever this amount of insurance is going to be, okay? We got everything in. It's submitted. Heck, it may even got approved, okay? The appointment's done at this point. Now, Odie, remember how in the beginning of this appointment I mentioned here that I specialize in life insurance, mortgage protection, and safe retirement planning? Yes, I remember that. Fantastic. So, with that 401k you currently have from your past employer, how much of that money are you willing to lose if the market were to correct? I don't want to lose any money. Okay, so you don't want to lose any money. Okay. All right, now, Odie, I got some questions here for you. So if I were to show you a program okay, that could lock in your gains, Protect your money. And provide lifetime income. This is your tie down part of the question. Would you find value in this? Yes, that, will, that, that sounds really good. Awesome. Okay, Odie. So that program that I'm talking about here, it's called a fixed indexed annuity. Um, and do you have a statement? Uh, I think I have it in my email. In my Yeah, I think it's in my email. Uh. Awesome. Pull it up. Okay. Like, you, you guys see how I did that? Like, literally where is it at okay 401k past employer okay how much money are you willing to lose why am i asking that question because it's a pain point question okay it's pain point people do not want to lose money first off because guys here's a fun little fact here Warren Buffett has got this rule, okay? Warren Buffett's got three rules to making money, okay? Write this down. Warren Buffett, three rules, okay? Rule number one, do not lose money. Okay? Someone give me a thumbs up when you've got that written down. Okay? Rule number two, Don't lose money. Okay. And rule number three, the same as one and two. Okay, guys. <laughs> That's pretty wild, right? Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the entire world. He's got three rules to making money. Don't lose money don't lose money. And guess what the last one is? Don't lose money. Okay. So now that I figured out here that it's from, 
it's from um, your past employer, okay? Past employer. So key points of finding pain. How much money are you willing to lose? Okay. He says zero. Everyone's going to tell you that. Okay. I've had people say, well, I have my money in stocks. That's my fun money. That's my fun money. Right? So clients are going to tell you things and you're going to tell them back something that drives pain. Okay. Client says, that's my stocks. That's my fun money. You know what I came back and said? Well, John, how fun would it be if you lost all your money? Guess what he had to say? Well, Jesse, that's a really stupid question. It wouldn't be fun at all. And I said, well, would you say it'd be stupid to keep your money there then? So he tells me something. I hit him back with his own language. He tells me something back. I throw it right back in his face. He tells me something back again. Now I provide value. So it's pain, value, pain, value, pain, pain, value, right? That's how you're creating these punchlines to create a hole to find your solution, okay? So how much money are you willing to lose? Zero. Well, that's my fun money. How fun would it be if you were to lose all your money? That's a stupid question. So you would agree keeping it there may not be the, the wisest idea. Well, I don't know. I really like, I like the growth on there. Okay, fantastic. I totally understand where you're coming from here. Agree, okay? So agree. I agree with you 100%. Acknowledge what they're having to say, okay? So totally understand where you're coming from here, Bob. Now, Bob, in regards towards that, if I could go ahead and lock in your gains, protect you from ever losing money, and provide lifetime income, would you find value in this? They're going to tell you yes, okay? Okay. And then you're going to say, do you have a statement? I don't know where it's at. Not a problem. I've got some stuff I got to do on my computer right here. I got a phone call. I got to call one of my agents back. I got to call one of the insurance carriers while you're looking for it. Go ahead and grab that for me. I'm in no rush. I'm here to help you with this. So now that we, they go back to their back room, they pull it up on their phone, they pull it up on their email, they pull it up in some place, somewhere, anywhere, okay? Now, you've got the little statement, right? It's with XYZ company. They got $300,000 sitting inside that account. Let's say they're 36 years old, past employer, okay? This is the green light, okay? 36 years old, past employer. That means we can move it, right? Let's say same amount, $300,000. <throat> Current employer, 36 years old. No go. Okay? 36 years old, current employer. Nothing we can do about it until the client leaves. No go, okay? So nothing we can do with this because it's current employer, no go, okay? One more example, $300,000, current employer. Sixty-two years old. Doesn't plan on retiring till he dies. Three hundred thousand dollars. Sixty-two years old. Red light or green light, guys? Let's see it in the chat. See how well everyone's listening. There we go. We got some listeners. Everybody who who put it a put a green light in there. You guys are all winners. You guys are all going to find some annuities and you're on track to hitting Hall of Fame because you're good listeners. Okay, so we have green lights. Woohoo! Green lights here. Now, cool thing is because they are a current employer, 
Bonus ticket, guys. Here's a bonus ticket. Okay, current employer, 59 and a half or higher. This is what you call as an in service distribution. In service distribution. So you can roll it out. Roll out. Roll out like ludicrous up in here, guys. You just start rolling, rolling, rolling. So making some money now. Okay. Now it's a matter of how and how do I reposition this? Let's say you guys have never explained this. You don't know what you're doing. I need you guys to write down something right here. Does the size matter? Very, very great question, Kevin. Very great question. You've got to have a minimum of $10,000 with most of the carriers. Okay? 10,000 or more. Okay? If it's 10,000 or less, you've got to go to National Life Group. They've even got a program here. You could start the annuity because let's just say, okay, guys, let's just say client is going, well, Jesse, I could just go ahead and put that money into my bank account. Well, here, Bob, you're totally right. You could. But how much is your bank account giving you back at the end of every year? 0.002% interest. It's so cool, man. Right? Guess what, guys? 0.002, and you're still getting taxed on it, is not a very good growth. But if we could have a program that could give us 2 to 10%, would that be pretty cool? And that program right there is with a national life group. Minimum to start the contract is 100 bucks per month. How awesome is that? Who wants to make five to eight percent on their money and go ahead and do that compound? Because if you can, let's say the client can't get approved for health or life insurance, put them into a program like this because this could potentially be a program for their future. Guys, you know, Tina last weekend, she sold two of these, two, three hundred bucks a month, two to three hundred bucks a month. And guess what? Every time they make a payment into that, you're getting paid on it. Every time they make a payment, they got paid on it. Every time they make a payment, you get paid on it for the rest of life. Jesse, Jesse, I have a question on that, bro. Go ahead. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's really simple. A lot of people are being asking about the um, annuities with $100 or $500 a month. My question is, uh, are the client con can uh, is allowed to contribute monthly, monthly, you know, only, and how much will be the, uh, how much the energy pays to the agent? Dude, it's like four or five percent. So every time they make a hundred dollar payment, you get paid like four bucks. Not bad, because you stack up a couple hundred of these, getting paid a couple hundred extra bucks. Now, thing is, is if they say, "Well, what happens if I don't make a payment?" Well, then they might take all your money because you need to have a hundred dollar minimum per month. When you can turn off the payment, when this account reaches $5,000, you can stop making payments. Okay. For the first five years, right, you can fund it as much as you want. Okay. So let's just say clients go ahead and he does $1,200 into it year one. 100 bucks a month. And let's say he's still doing his 100 bucks a month and then he gets his tax return for $10,000. I'm just going to use this for numbers. So he still wants to go ahead and still contribute his 1200 into it. Next year, he comes up on a bonus from work, wants to put 5000 into it. Totally can, guys. Does he need to continue making contributions into it? Absolutely not, because once you reach 5,000, you can turn off the stream. If you want to continue funding it, you can do it for five years. Now, cool thing is, is once you reach the five years, because now you've got more than $10,000 in this account, where can you roll it into an account that may also give you a higher yield return? So you go from 
National Life Group. And because you guys are such awesome agents, guess what this client's going to do? They're going to go, hey, buddy, I'm at, I'm at $12,466. Odie, what do I do with this account? I want to put it into another account. And you were mentioning there was another account, but we needed $10,000 and this one works better, right? Yep, sure do, Bob. We're going to go ahead and put this into Athena now. Because some of these accounts can grow anywhere between 5 and 11% on average the last 10 years. Not every single year, but the 10-year average, okay? is around five to 11%, depending on the product that we're choosing. So if we could potentially lock in your gains, so I'm gonna kind of reconnect it back here, guys. So if we could lock in your gains, provide a guarantee that you're never gonna lose a dollar in this account and give you a lifetime income, depending on the program we choose. Now, notice how I said that, depending on the program that we choose, because depending on the program, it doesn't have a lifetime income benefit. Depending on the program, we may not have access to an 11% growth on average the last 10 years. Now guys, get contracted with your carriers. But the most important part about this guys is we're gonna go ahead and backtrack here, okay? I know we've covered a lot of ground here, but the most important thing about all of this because nothing matters right now, okay? None of this matters right now unless you're asking, unless you're gonna do this, okay? And keep in mind, guys, all the shots you don't attempt to take, you're always going to miss. So if you continue never asking this question, guess what happens? You're never going to find these. You're never going to find these. And you're leaving money on the table and you're not, doing the justice for the client and you're not doing your job as an agent so do yourself a massive favor okay do yourself a massive favor here okay ask the questions and make a bunch of mistakes fail a ton make a ton of mistakes ask the question if you don't know when you're in the house, guys, do me a favor. All you got to do, are you more of a spender or a saver? Do you have anything? Do you have anything else in place that acts like life insurance, such as any of these things that I have right here? So if you guys can scroll back up to the top of the chat, I've got everything in there. And I need you to make sure you've used this. If you want to make a copy of this, modify it, put your team name on it, whatever you want to do, it's totally up to you. Okay. Because guys, great thing is, is I've learned about FFL. The one thing you always want to do, share information, give it away, open up the door to more people making the mistakes that you did open up the door to the opportunities to not also make the same mistakes, but also be there to help people. Okay. So guys, 10% gains, 5% gains, average the last 10 years, okay? So another thing, write this phone number down, okay? 702-830-2340. If you're ever in a house with a client, okay? If you're ever in a house with a client, all I need you to do, pick up the phone. Jesse, I'm currently sitting with John. So here, Sean, need you to role play with me here. Let's have straightforward conversation. Okay. All right. So I'm you're you're gonna play like me right now. Okay. Crap. I got you're Jesse. I got the freaking teeth cleaner in my mouth, but I'll try. Got it. So hey, hey, uh, Jesse, I'm currently sitting here with Bob, Bob 62. He currently has a 401k from his current employer. Now, Jesse, I was curious, are we able to go ahead and do anything with this? Straightforward, straight to the punch questions. Or Sean, hey, I'm sitting here with Bob. Bob's 36. He's got a 401k from a past job. Can I do anything with this? 
Hey, Sean, I'm currently sitting here with Bob. He's 54, current employer. Can I do anything with this? And then all I'm going to do, guys, this is how I'm going to help you guys close it. Sean, do you currently have a statement? Yeah, it's uh, $300,000. Fantastic. Okay, great. Can you do me a huge favor? Make up a follow-up appointment. We can set this up either through Zoom or a phone call. Sean, what which of the two would your client prefer? They want a, they want a Zoom call because they want to see the uh, see everything broken down. Perfect. Okay, Sean, so go ahead and do me a favor. Grab the statement. We're going to go ahead and put a plan together tonight. We'll set up a Zoom appointment. Would you prefer to do it tonight or you want to do it here in the next few days? Uh, they want to do it in the next couple of days. Fantastic. Is there a better time, morning, afternoon, or evening? Uh, they want morning. Okay, perfect. So what did we just do, guys? Training agent calls, calls Odie. Training agent calls Jesse. Training agent, whoever it might be, reach out to me. Hey, I got this and this and this. What can I do with it? Just go straight forward. Ask me straight questions. Okay. I got the statement. This is where it's currently sitting. They're interested in never losing money. They're interested in making sure they can protect their money. Hey, Jesse, can you do me a huge favor? Kind of explain how these programs work. Not a problem here, Sean. So Sean, can you go ahead and put me on speakerphone? Fantastic. Okay, great. Hey, Sean, so what was your client's name again? Uh, James Fisher. Okay. All right. So, hey, James, Miss, or so, hey, Mr. James, my name is Jesse Hantley here. I'm one of the national uh, retirement specialists here with our company. Uh, glad you're working with Sean here. Sean's one of our best field underwriters here, and he's going to have very good control and helping you out here, making sure you're solid, you're in a good place, and a good position for your retirement. Now, uh, from my understanding, you've got a statement here with Sean in his hand, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we got fantastic. a full statement. Okay, great. So the way that these programs work, that they lock in your gains, provide guarantees to never lose money. Depending on what we choose, we could even have a lifetime income benefit rider. Some of the programs will grow anywhere between 5 and 11% interest on average for the last 10 years. Would you find value in a program like that? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we would find uh, a lot of value. Perfect. Okay, so Mr. Bishop, what we're going to do is set up a follow-up appointment here on Zoom. Uh, let's go ahead and do 5 p.m. here on Friday. Does that sound fair? Yep, this sounds fair. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and send you a link tonight. And then Sean and I are going to go ahead and put together a plan for you to go ahead and meet and exceed your goals. How does that sound? Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay, great. Guys, that's it. You call me, I help you book the appointment, and we're done. That's it. That's it, guys. And the great thing is, if we do have the opportunity to do this, sorry, guys, my, my, my chat is going nuts, okay? So, guys, what we want to do, make sure we've got everything locked in, okay? Make sure we've got the information locked in there, okay? We ask the golden question, okay? We ask the silver lining question, the golden question. Once you get the statement, if you want to go and explain more or what you can do, if you get the statement, all you got to do, get the statement, a few things you can also do. You can 100% reach out to FFL AMS. Fantastic tool to use. They can help walk you through the process. But if you're not very confident with the word tracks, you're not very confident with the tie downs, explaining it, running through and actually understanding what the illustration looks like. One of my biggest tools is, and tell you guys, because this is something I didn't do in the beginning. I wanted to try to figure this out by myself. I lost close to $2.2 million in annuity sales because I didn't want to ask for help. I wasn't being coachable. I wasn't asking questions when I was at my last company. And guess what I did? I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of sales and I didn't help my client the best that I did because I had ego. I had pride. And guys, like, I'm not special. I'm just an average dude that works really hard, made a bunch of mistakes. Okay. But eventually, once I got here to FFL, I started asking certain producers that are doing a much higher volume of annuities than I did. And I started splitting my sales. 
when I started splitting my sales, my knowledge increased because I was asking very in-depth, detailed questions. He was helping walk me through the illustration. What am I looking at? How does this program work this way? Why does it work this way? What is the cool features? How does the death benefit get paid out? Is the death benefit going to be tax-free on this? Is it not going to be tax-free? If they took it on a lump sum or can they take it out on a disbursement? There's so many different avenues. And so when I started splitting my sale, I naturally started to increase my skill set. Then I also understood how I needed to pick my illustrations, how I needed to design the illustrations. Once you guys get the portal to Athene, make fictitious clients. I've got a client that's this age, this, this male, female. It's from a 401k. So it's qualified funds. If you guys don't know what qualified means, that's qualified to be taxed. Non-qualified means it's non-taxable. It's not qualified to be taxed. So that would be like a Roth IRA. That would be cash sitting in your bank account. It's already been taxed, okay? It's already been taxed, so we don't need to get taxed on it, okay? So qualified funds, taxable. Non-qualified funds, non-taxable, okay? These exact programs, again, are going to help you understand what's what, okay? So other types of retirement plans that are qualified plans, 403Bs, TSPs, which stand for thrift saving programs or thrift, thrift saving plans, 403Bs, 457s, 401K, 401, uh, 401Bs. 401B, what the heck is that? A 401A, what the heck is that? A 401k, we all know what that is because all of our jobs gave them to us when we were in corporate America, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> I see Myra, she's going, Jesse, come on, that's, that's a soft subject. I don't want to talk about my 401k because I lost money in it. I did. I lost a ton of money in it. Back in 2008, I got crushed 37%. 37%. I never saw that money grow back again. Why? Because I left corporate America. And then what did I do? I rolled it into an annuity. There we go, guys, right? So cool thing is, if you've got 401ks from your past jobs, the best person to actually trial and sample this on is yourself. And guess who can be the writing agent? Yourself. You get paid. And guess what? Utilize that learning experience to understand the process, the programs, how it works. Guys, also make sure you're going on a theme, do the product training, actually take notes. Don't just click listen and click next, next, next. Actually go on there, listen to it because you're going to learn how much liqu liquidity do I have access to every single year? How does the program work? Does it have this? Does it have that? Does it have this? That's how I learned and taught myself a lot of this. Also making mistakes and splitting lots of annuity opportunities. And guys, the crazy thing is, is there's thousands of clients out there that need help with this. So if you think with an abundance mindset, like a blue ocean mindset, not from scarcity, sacrifice a little bit of your sale now for the growth to speed up later. Because once you learn, you can start to teach others. Once you learn, you can start to help others. You can start to build your agency. You can start to duplicate exactly what we've gone over tonight. Now, guys, Imagine if we could go ahead and go out there and find one client per week by asking the question. Guys, we run 40 appointments is our goal per week, right? We have 40 at-bats. Numbers are numbers, right? So if we got 40 at-bats, we ask the question 40 times, eventually you're going to start to get 40 yeses in a month. You're going to start to get 40 yeses in a quarter. 40 yeses in a year. If you don't know, call me, ask me questions. I'll help you close it. Odie is a fantastic person to do this. He's called me. He, Jesse, I found a statement, 22 grand. What do I do? Put me on the phone with the client. Bam. Five minute conversation. Boom, boom, boom. Set up a Zoom appointment, closed. Last night, called me again. Jesse, got another client. I got the statement. Sends me an email with the statement in there. I get the statement. Okay, it looks like it's this program. Perfect. When are we going to set up a Zoom? Set up a 35-minute Zoom call. Done. Sold. Already been submitted. 
guys, like the, it's crazy. Now think about if you can find it, leverage it, learn it, duplicate it. And now you're going to be able to help and do this guys. Like, and the crazy thing is, it's not to say that I'm special. I know everything, but it's just asking the right questions to find the pain and then painting a glorified picture about what their future is going to look like guys. Cause everybody wants to get free money with bonuses. Everybody wants to protect their money from never being lost. Cause what were the three rules again, guys? Anybody? Don't lose Don't money. Don't lose, lose money. money. There we go. Who wants to make money now? Right? Guys, this is the crazy thing. Ask the question, take a bunch of bats, get slammed in the face a bunch of times too. Okay. But if you want to speed up your process, ask the question, make a phone call. Ask the question, get the statement. Ask the question, get the statement, make a phone call. Set up a follow up appointment. Jesse, got a follow up appointment here. Because, guys, like, my goal here, why I'm doing this, I want to help. Okay, we got, you know, close to 40 people on this call right now. I want to duplicate 40 more of these. I want to be able to duplicate 40 people that know how to fluidly talk about annuities. Because guys, like, we're on track to do a billion this year. But why not? Let's do two. Why not? Let's do three. Why not? Let's do six. Guys, because... There's $77 trillion in assets floating from 401ks, IRAs, any type of investment account, stock accounts, TSPs, all these retirement plans from all the baby boomers over the next few years into bank accounts. But what if we could intersect the bank account, protect their money, let it grow, they get a big fat bonus on it, turn on a lifetime income, you happen to get paid between 5 and 7 8% on that. In that meantime, you get a bonus on it because of your producer bonus. You also help your VP hit their bonus. You also help FFL get to a billion plus. Guys, and this is where my mind's going. How much more can we help clients? Because we either are protecting life capital or financial capital. And how many more people can we duplicate simplifying this process? Because this business is copy paste. But if you don't know it, ask the questions to copy paste. Ask the questions, get the answer. Ask the questions, split the sale and get trained on it. Understand and make sure that it's going through suitability one time. Guys, my fastest annuity I've ever processed was less than five days, start to finish, including an overnight check from two places, getting overnighted to the client, getting overnighted back to them, Start to finish, stopped, and paid in seven days. But let's just say I wouldn't have asked the questions earlier in my career here, and I didn't know how to do suitability. And then I got the, I need this requirement. What's this? Why doesn't this number jive? Who's going to be this? Who's going to be the owner? Oops, you put the wrong type of account. Oops, you put that it was non-qualified when it's qualified. Oops, it's not like funds. Guys, like nothing sucks more than having to go from requirement, requirement, edit, sign, edit, sign, edit, sign. Got to go back to the client's house. Let's just say they live four hours away from you. You found this annuity. It's your first one. You're super excited. You submit the policy before you've got the training done. All right, I'm going to speak on my personal experience because this is something I did. Okay. Submitted my first annuity here with FFL. It was like twenty-seven thousand. I was like, "Yeah, woohoo!" I did my first annuity. Yeah, Ooh, I fired it through. Guess what? It was sold in California. Guess what? I didn't have guys. California state specific CE. Oops. Then Athene was like, "Hey Jesse, you've got to go and get a wet signature." Guy lives four hours away from me. It can't be done through DocuSign, can't be done through this, this, and this. So I had to go drive four hours back there, get a signature. Got everything done. In the meantime, with the CE, guess what? Oh, they didn't sign in the right place, and they didn't sign here. And then I had to drive four hours back. And then I drove four hours back again. Oh, they need to sign and document this one, too. And I, I was like, guys, like, like literally, I've sent you the application like five times. You scrubbed it six. Why didn't you tell me the first three times ago? 
come on guys like i'm on your side but make it easier for me and they were like all right dude so this is the last signature we need we need four trips back and forth to california then it finally issued smallest annuity i did and i took four trips back and forth so i tell you one thing i learned my lesson ask questions for people that actually know what they're doing so you don't make those same mistakes and the great thing is, guys, you can also submit your application to the FFL AMS because they can scrub it too before it gets sent to a theme. And eventually, once they scrub it enough and they've taught you and trained you or you've gotten asked, you've asked questions from senior agents that have done a lot of annuities, guess what you can do? They can help scrub it for you, get it processed immediately, and it can be done quick you get the protection quick. And then guess what's the last step you got to do once you get the annuity finished? You go and deliver it, you go and explain it, and you get this piece of paper that says, I delivered the policy. So guess what, guys? Not only did I take four trips to get it to issue, I had to go deliver it one more time to make sure it was finished and then come back and then fax it in or email it. So guys, the moral of the story is, can anybody answer this one for me? You can unmute if you want to ask questions, ask questions. <laughs> Don't have an ego. <laughs> Trust me, guys, like the fastest way to duplicate and speed up in this business is make yourself vulnerable, but also ask questions. There's never a stupid question. Okay. When it comes to this stuff, because two things can happen. If we make a mistake, a, it speeds things down from the client getting their financial capital protected, but it also slows you down on your issue paid numbers. It slows you down from hitting your next promotion and it slows you down from having more money hit your bank account. And I know you guys are all here because you're wanting to do one thing, right? What is that? I saw Kevin's Make eyes money. Up. Make money. Make, Make some, some money. Monies. Because guys, I would Drive love to say- Drive four hours. Guys, yeah. And, and go drive, you know, 20 hours back and forth to close out a $27,000 annuity that paid me less than $600. Like I spent more in gas than I did. But at the end of the day, I would do it all over again just to learn not to do that again. Right? But it's kind of like the hot stove rule. We won't know. You know, parents say, don't touch the hot stove. We still do it. Ah, mom, you're right. That's the same thing. So guys, let's just go and backtrack. Make sure you use the financial inventory. Make sure you ask a silver question. Make sure you ask a golden question. Once you get the statement, set a secondary appointment. Call someone who knows. Call your upline. Call me. Call somebody. Reach out to the FFL AMS team, guys. One more thing I need you guys to make sure you write down here, okay? I'm going to put the link here in the chat, okay? This is something that you should definitely watch for yourself. And this is also something that you can give to your clients when they're like, mm, well, you know, I'm kind of on a fence about this, Jesse. You know, I really like my financial advisor. My financial advisor is pretty cool. You know, I've worked with them for 22 years. Well, that's fantastic here, Bob. When's the last time he called you when you were losing money? How much money did it take for you to actually recuperate your losses? Well, you know, I've got a good relationship with them. Well, that's fantastic. How much of that money are you still willing to lose? Well, you know, I just, I just got to do some research. Okay, perfect. I'm going to help you out with that. So you're going to send him this link straight to his phone. It's called FIABenefits.com. Oh, my God. Can you learn some free info on that? Guys, free info. Seven steps on how to make annuities work. Locking and gains. The power of indexing. Avoiding probate tax deferral growth, seven steps for your clients to get educated. Then they go, well, Jesse, this sounds like a pretty cool plan. Yeah, it sure is. You know the best thing about it here? It was free information. Hey, Bob, when's the last time your financial advisor gave you free information? Oh, he never did that. Well, and you know why he really wants you to keep that money there? Because you got a three to 5% fee, if not more, for all your money to stay there. 
And how much is he also charging you when you lose money? And also how much is he charging you when you gain money? Oh, best of it. Every time he makes a trade, guess who's getting paid? Oh, I don't have commission. I don't have commission right charges. I'm like that you can see. Well, I don't see it on my bill. That's because it's on the top end. Guys, these financial advisors are getting paid. Like they're not working for free. There's a reason why they're sacrificing their 45% comp to sell life insurance because they're making money on the financial advising part. All right. I don't know about you guys. They take it from one place and give it to another place. Okay. All right. Hold on. I, there was one last thing I wanted to share with you guys, but I was, I was going at it hard just now. Okay. FIA benefits. We got the, the tracker. We got the, the inventory. Last thing I want to show you guys. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Give me one quick second. Okay. Uh, fixed indexed annuity. Or stock. Okay. All right, guys. Now, one last step I'm going to share with you. Okay. This is going to be your golden ticket to actually help you sell more annuities, too. Okay. All right. So, fixed index annuities versus stock. What we're going to do here. We're going to go straight into fixed index annuities versus stock onto Google. This is going to be a really cool little tip here. So what we do is we look at like some of these charts. I really like this one. Okay. If you want to go in there a little bit more, let's see. What other ones do I really like? Okay. This one looks really clean. Now let's say one that actually shows pretty vividly clear, okay? All right, so we'll go to this one. Okay, if my iPad wants to work with me here, guys, I do apologize. Okay, so there we go. So Bob, the way that this program works here is you see we've got a few different color lines, okay? So let's just say the blue line is going to be a minimum guaranteed value. So let's say it's a 3% fixed for life. And it's just going to continue to steadily grow. It's safe. You're never going to lose money in that account. It's a fixed growth account. So you're going to start with 100. You're going to eventually end up 150,000. May grow higher over time. It's a fixed rate. Now you see this red line. That's going to be like our stock market. So we've got that aggressive growth. Okay. And as you can see, over the first few years here, you know, it's, it's a tortor, tortoise versus the hare here. The hare went on fire, but guess what? You know, the, the little guy with Wiley Coyote and the little hunter, the guy, a little Elmer Fudd or whatever, he shot the hare. Oh my gosh, that stock account just ate buckets. So now it dipped. Account goes from 100 to 140 almost down to 78,000. Wow. But the cool thing is, you see this green line we have here? That's going to be our fixed indexed annuity. So if we notice here, right in this fashioned area, right around where you see that massive spike, okay? And then you notice for a few dots there, it's not growing at all. So it sits at zero during that time frame, And then eventually over time, stock account starts growing, fixed index annuity growth. So you see how it's parallel growth. So when the stock accounts are growing, the indexes are as well. When the stocks go down, you sit again at zero. So you're again, not losing any money and you locked in your gains. But who ends up winning at the end of the race? Fixed index annuity does because we never had to play catch up. What air, which one of those lines do you like more, the red, blue, or the green? Red, blue, or the green, they say. And guys, that right there is going to be your golden ticket to explaining this to a client. All you got to go is, what's your favorite color here? Would you like red or you want green? I like the green one. 
Looks like it came out ahead. That's where you could be in your future, John. Guys, like, have fun with it. Just sell it. And guys, like, I want to see you guys on, on, on the AMS calls because when you sell uh, IULs, guess what? Your name gets posted on the leaderboard on a weekly chart. What else is really cool is when you sell big annuities, your name gets posted on a big chart. What's super cool is then when you start to get these things called promotion raises because you sold certain volume. And then when you sell more annuities, you get up to a higher level. And then when you sell more annuities, guess what? We're doing the exact same thing. Guess what, you guys? You get paid more. And eventually, you're not asking me for help. And eventually, you're now training your agents to do it. And you know what's even more exciting? This, this call we, we, we embarked on here, on January 18th, 2022. Mark my words, we're going to have another 100 people that's going to be teaching this exact same lesson here in the next three to six months. Another 100 people are going to be training this exact same thing. And you guys are all going to go close five to six, seven, 10, 15, 20 annuities in the next six months. I can't wait for you guys to do that. And I can't wait to see those, those paychecks hit. And you're going to go, Jesse, dude, I found another one. I found another one. Help me, bro. And then guess what? You're going to call me and say, Jesse, I found one. Guess what, bro? I closed it myself, baby. Cool. I just need your help with submitting this. Okay, cool. I just need you to double check that. Cool. And then it's like, hey, bro, just, I got you. Next time I see you, I'm going to take you out to dinner because I really appreciate you. And then you guys are going to be doing the same thing for your team. And then people are going to start taking you out to dinner. And guys, the coolest thing about this is, is when you, when you teach and you train and more people are starting to win and they get the same, same success you did. Like nothing excites me more than seeing you guys win. Nothing excites me more from seeing you guys take what I've taught you and just blow up with it, guys. And it's super simple, right? Would you all agree? You could all do everything that I did, right? <clears throat> all right, guys. Does anybody have any questions here before we go and wrap things up? <clears throat> I got a question, Jesse. Yeah, bro. Uh, so someone that's already retired, and they're already taking money out of their 401k. Can they also take advantage of something like this? Say that again. Okay. Already retired, already taking money out of it. Is that what you said? Yes. Is it yes. still sitting in the 401k or an annuity? Uh, 401k. Okay. That really just depends. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Right? So... If they're currently drawing money off of it, they need more than, let's say, 5 or 10% or more that the lifetime income could actually provide. Does it make sense? That would be my biggest question. Because if it doesn't financially make sense for them to do it, because keep in mind, guys, we're locking their money up between 7, 10, and 15 years. Or we could turn on an immediate income stream, but that immediate income stream may be less than what they actually are getting into their bank account now. Okay. Did I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Jesse, I missed the beginning of the call. Um, so you're not allowed to roll over a 401k with a current employer. You said 36, is that because of his age and his employment status or? Yeah. So it's yeah. just his age. Yep. So let's say we'll kind of kind of go through it again. Okay. So uh, if someone's 36, current employer still. So current mm -hmm. employer, 401k is from the current employer and they're under 59 and a half, nothing that we can do. Okay. If okay. they're 36 and it's from a past job, as long as it's actually a 401k, we can move it. Now, the one hiccup you guys may come across is let's just say someone worked at a job that had a TSP, some type of pension plan. There might be rules or some sort of restriction that they have to wait till they're a certain age or they had worked a certain amount of hours or credits. Okay, You guys may come across that with people with pensions. But if it's a 401k past job, they're under 59 and a half, fair game. And the way, if you don't know, grab this statement. Let's make a phone call with the client. Call the, the financial house, whoever it might be. 
And then we just ask them, hey, just to verify, is the client able to do X, Y, Z? Is the client able to do this? How much is transferable? Are there any penalties? Are there any penalties if he pulls of, if he withdraws money from it? Yes, because you get tax, early penalties. Is it transferable to roll over? Yep, it's transferable to roll over because you guys have probably had some jobs. If you guys are old enough to have 401ks, and if you guys are old enough to have jobs that had 401ks, when you start your new job, what is the one thing they always ask you? Do you have a 401k? Do you have a 401k? Would you like to do what with it? Bring it over. Would you like to roll it over into our IRA, into our current IRA house? And, hopefully, and if they haven't, they're safe, right? What's that? I said if they haven't, and they're below that that age, then they can they can they can do something with it, right? Hundred percent. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, so as long as they're, let's say they're, we'll use thirty six year old for that. Thirty six past job, they can roll it over. If it's more than ten thousand dollars, they can roll over. If it's not more than ten thousand dollars, we can still roll it over. We just have to find the right place that takes less than ten k. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you guys Thank have any you. questions, call me, ask me, call me, ask me. Okay. All right. So I came across a client just this past week who has a really small rollover. It's okay. like 17,000 and she is 47 years old. Okay. And it's really small. Like I said, 17,000. Um, she asked me um, because I showed her the illustration with Americo. And she was like, can you show me with um, the annuity, how much will I be able to withdraw when I turn 59 and a half, when I start withdrawing from it? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, great question. I was like, let me get back to you. So then um, I found out we really don't do illustrations with annuities. Yeah, you can. Um, okay, well, maybe with this company, we couldn't. Have you ever mm -hmm. done them with Athene? With a thing, yeah, all day. That's that's like I, like I how much they can actually withdraw once they turn fifty nine and a half, mm -hmm. and she's not going to be putting any more into it. She's just going to let it ride until she's fifty nine and a half. What was her age right now? Forty seven. Okay, so that's twelve years till oh, fifty nine and a half. Mm -hmm. I would say if it's around seventeen thousand, it's going to probably be roughly thirty thousand, thirty five thousand, just ballparking it with some of the like illustrations yeah. I've done in the past. Now, one of the ways I would say is grab the statement, set up a follow-up appointment, we'll build the illustration and I can teach you how to do that. Super easy. I got that. So I guess I just need to enter it in. Mm -hmm. um, that was one question though that no one's ever asked me. I was like, okay. And the cool thing is, is on there, you can design future income. You could design what the required minimum distributions look like at 72 and a half. You could design it with a lifetime income. You can design it on the free withdrawal. So if they wanted to pull out 5% liquidity every single year, depending on the program, they'll give you up to 10% liquidity every single year. So that's a free withdrawal on the account. Penalty free, you just get taxed on it. Um, and so once they start doing withdrawals um, at 59 and a half, it is going to be considered income and taxed, right? As long as it, if it's a qualified account, yeah. If it's yeah. non-qualified, it's non-taxable. Yeah, well, it's coming from a 401k, so. So definitely getting taxed. Yeah, okay, because they haven't been taxed on it yet. Exactly, yeah, it's pre-tax money. It's tax deferred, yeah. yeah okay, and then, sorry, one more question. And then yeah, no problem. When you're deciding what company to go with, are you emailing on a theme and then sending it to them? Because you know how you log in and it's with your Athene account and then you do your whole scenario thing. Um, how, how are you deciding what company to go with? You're just going off of what the experts from FFL are telling you? You could do one of two options. You could go directly to FFL AMS. Me personally, anytime I'm selling an annuity, I always use Athene. And the main reason why I always use a theme, they're the number one annuity company in the entire country right now. Oh, okay. Makes sense. That's it. They're the, they're the best company. So now it's just a matter of figuring out 
what are the client's goals? What do they want to do with it? How do they want it to have it designed? And that's depending on age goals, risk factor, what they want to do for it. That's kind of how I'm deciding if I need to go from, you know, an agility, if I need to do the performance elite, the ascent pro, and I pretty much only use one of the three programs. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Thank you. You're Super welcome, important. Mara. Keep it up. Yes, yes. Brother, before you, you, you end this call, I just want to, I just want to say something to encourage some of the agents that are in this call. Uh, personally, what I'm doing, and um, because if you are new, you don't know how, you don't know how, you don't have a lot of information about the index annuities. Uh, what we have to do is basically uh, ask our, the golden questions on the on the on the appointment with their clients, right? Most people want to protect their money, right? They they want to have security and accumulate, you know, you know, for the retirement. And sometimes I feel like we're leaving a lot of money behind on the table by not asking the questions and not go over the 401 if they do have a retirement plans. So what I'm doing is just find out if they have that, they have a 401k or 403b, whatever retirement they have, and ask those questions. Get the statement. It's the small, simple thing we can do. Get the statement. And personally, uh, don't be afraid, guys, to, to split the commission. Because for me, I don't care if I have to run 10 annuities with, with Jesse or 20 annuities. To be honest, I don't care. Because I know I'm learning a lot. And in the future, I'm going to be able to close like millions of dollars in units because the information, the knowledge I have. So for me, it's like, I don't care. Jesse, I'm willing to split and just teach me, bro. You know, just teach me. I just want to get all you. I, I just want to know. I want to get the information you have. Because that way, I'm, gonna, I'm doing two things. I'm making sure that my client is going to have the best program, the best product. And the way I'm introducing uh, Jesse I'm saying this, once I get the statement, I told my client, all right, so we're gonna set up a Zoom meeting today or tomorrow, right? And uh, because I, I, I create that urgency, you know, like say, we need to we need to move this money because this money needs to be secure. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And then the way I introduce Jesse is, uh, all right, I need to reach out to Phil, uh, the field underwriter, which is he's the specialist in retirement plans. Cause I wanna make sure that like, he's gonna choose the right program for you because I want to make sure like we, that money is going to be in the best position for all your goals you're looking for. All right. And then I just let Jesse do his job, you know, and that's the best thing we can do guys, in my opinion, until you, you learn and you master this product. Um, and one of the things here guys too, literally after one, maybe two, maybe three or four, you just hear it. You hear the questions, you hear the tie downs, you hear the, the navigation of the conversation. Cause literally like two, three weeks ago, Odie did know a lot about this great points, knew how to find him, saw the value in him, but he was just like, I, I can do it, but I don't feel confident in it. And I don't want to put my client in a bad position. <clears throat> Get on a phone call, 20 minute call. He's ready to go. Client was sold 45 minutes later. I show them how to do the exact application. Guess what happened the second time? Now we're conversating about it. Now he's actually, it's like what he learned last time is clicking more now. So I bet maybe one or two more, he's going to be closing these by himself. That's what's exciting. And then I can start to step down on how much help he's going to need. And then he's going to be able to duplicate it. That's what's the crazy part. That's the fun part is where we're duplicating more people that can do this. Because guys, anybody can do this. All you got to do is ask the questions. I'm not special. Guys, like, here's a crazy thing. I failed my test four times. I was in special ed classes, special ed classes. Like, I was in classes with people that were mentally challenged. And I was in class with them because I have a learning disability. Like, most people would never know that. But I'm not special. But I, I make lots of repetition, I make lots of mistakes, and I ask lots of questions, and I fail a lot. So guys, like, if I can do it, anybody can do this. Like, that's why when I'm sitting, everyone's like, Jesse, you're so great, oh, Hall of Fame. I'm like, dude, you have no idea how many appointments I failed at this year. You have no many times. Like, the only difference between us is probably the fact that I've been told no more than you have. That's it. That's the only difference. And I, I make the mistakes. And guys, like, 
We're going to go make some mistakes together. We're going to go make a lot of money together this year, okay? I'm pumped. Let's go, baby. Let's, let's get relentless. And let's have some respect for ourselves. All right? All right, guys. Again, if you don't have my number, I'm going to drop it in the chat here, okay? All right. And then lastly, guys, here. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or whatever, and you can't get a hold of me on my cell, just do that. If you got anything learned out of this, do me a favor, grab a picture, post it up, spread this information like a wildfire. This will be recorded. This will be dropped on uh, FFL primetime. So if you guys aren't following FFL primetime, please go on YouTube, follow FFL primetime, because this information is going to make a bunch of gorillas money this year. All right, guys, let's go. God bless. Oh, yeah. And here, stay prime time on IG. So see you guys on there. God bless. Have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome.